Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be with you presenting this panel about the proposal to use e-learning methodology as a part of education programs in the field of addiction, prevention and treatment. Taking into account the support to the rapid improvement and competences and skills as a part of education of present and future generations of addiction professionals and as a part of the mission of the International Consortium of Universities for Drug Demand Production, ICUDTR, this is a proposal to use the rapidly development of technology educational tools as e-learning methodology as a part of the resources to extend the availability of this specific and important professional education, not just to a major population interested, but also as a useful alternative to the universities working in the addiction field in order to provide a way to meet the increasing demand highly prepared professionals in addictions. And now, for the global situation we are all facing, we realize about the importance and transcendence to this type of virtual resources to have access to a virtual learning spaces, which facilitates an academic formation regardless of the time availability. We understand the e-learning methodology in the context of mixed learning tools with presential activities and practices. This proposal pretends to increase the visibility of many advantages to the e-learning methodology and its added value of cost and time reduction to the students and to the universities without sacrifice the quality of the curricular content, in this case, the UTC and the UPC. Also, the e-learning methodology provides the opportunity to improve the communication, counseling, control and evaluation activities with students and institutions during many activities contemplated in the UTC and the UPC, to facilitate the application and standardization of the necessary elements to support and ensure the high quality in the formation of the future professionals. Definition it's a learning system based on formalized teaching via electronic media, typically on the internet, delivered to a large number of recipients at the same or different times. It's very useful also to develop a network enabled to transfer skills and knowledge. The basic e-learning methodology allows the use of ICT's network as support to the learning process, by enhancing the pedagogical skill or real education taking as key elements, motivation, and per support with the quality and human warmth. Among its principal advantages are its accommodation to students and professors, needs on time, the access to update contents, permanently availability of lectures, quick delivery or lessons, and reduced costs. We have the scheme of the basic methodology the course beginning and process organizations are information, presentation, evaluation, and communication. The academic contents, UPC and or UTC, exposition, rebound, construction, verification. And the closure is negotiation and feedback. Therefore, the PACI methodology, we have stronger communication, collaborative learning, and constructive learning organization in a technology way. So it comes into a motivational instrument for the knowledge development. We can see here in a more visual way the explanation about the organization of the information in the PACI methodology that Dr. Miranda made. We subdivide in three large important groups. The first is the beginning and process organization. In this field, we include, always making emphasis in the UTC or UPC, all the information that the student will require at the course presentation. These two sections in order to have the student in context about the course. After that, we have the evaluation, which includes the specifications about the different evaluations that we are going to do through the course. Also includes the communication. This is also important because in this field, we establish the ways and systems of communication that we are going to have to all the students. In order not only for having an active communication about the course, 
but to maintain the human touch through e-learning. The second group is about the specific academic contents, in this case, the UTC or the UPC. The first section is about the exposition. In this section, we are going to facilitate all the documents and the academic material that the student will need through the process. The section rebound makes emphasis to a self-criticism in order to improve the academic performance. In the section of construction, we add the activities description to can create a defined road of all the activities we need to do with the students and also giving them all the necessary instructions and guidance. The section of verification will be a space for the opinions of the students about the learning process. The last and final group is composed of negotiation and feedback. In the section of negotiation, we include that the student will get when he finalizes the course, in this case, a certificate. And the section of feedback is for the goodbye of the course. In this section, besides the goodbye, we also can include a brief satisfaction questionnaire in order to measure the user satisfaction and a ways to improve the course and its content. As we can see, although it seems very simple on this structure, it takes a lot of time, work and dedication to can complete every field and then create a functional e-learning course. Again, it was a pleasure to share this proposal with you. Our team is confirmed by Dr. Anna Schneider Dr. Otto Miranda and me, Dr. Ligia Palacios. We are looking forward to see you soon in person. Our best wishes and please be safe.